Okay, welcome back to another episode of our Guild Wars 1 playthrough. We are in Thunderhead Keep. Um, we're also running an uh, elite enchantment spell that we just tapped, captured in our last mission, Iron Mines of Mulladin. I put together this build. I actually went had to go back to the desert, Crystal Desert, to do a quest to get the warrior secondary. I didn't record it because it was actually super tedious. I ended up... I needed to go to Thirsty River and then go up here to fight a bunch of centaur. So I just decided to save some time and cut that part from the video. <clears throat> it's kind of a cheesy build. Uh, I don't know what, what to call it. If it's a smart build, a uh, practical build, but we're going to run it. Kind of test it out a little bit. Anyway, Thunderhead Keep. Let's go. I'll kind of talk through the build as we're as we're using it in action. Obviously, it's a melee build. We're kind of role-playing as a warrior. And Flurry is kind of cool to use with it because even though it lowers our damage, it doesn't actually lower our damage because we just need to swing our weapon at them. And it does a flat 42 damage per swing. Pretty cool. As long as I attack... These guys keep knocking me down, so it's not great. Yeah, and I'm not even sure if this mission is the right mission to test it out on. But should be using clumsiness. That should counter the stomp. Actually, we're gonna. Yeah, that was my bad. I should cast clumsiness, and it, it, their stomp counts as an attack, so it should should interrupt it. go i don't even get into range i need to keep spamming flurry too it seems to i just gotta keep it's a five five second duration five second uh cooldown so you just keep it up at all times the boss over there the name of the game of this mission is to keep jealous iron hammer alive which is not the easiest thing to do because we can't control him also we're using our healing skill illusion of weakness and it just the cool thing about it is there's no duration it just stays up forever and it has just a it has a uh, condition where if you drop if i drop below 25 it automatically heals us so kind of cool to keep up at all times all right let's see clumsiness should work here does not work Huh. Oh, because it's only four seconds. I need to I need to time it better. And then I brought Phantom Pain just to have another illusion skill. Basically what we want as many illusion skills as possible because each one that we have equipped gives us plus five armor as per our elite skill. I need to get used to the rotation of it, I think. I need to keep Illusion of Weakness up. Oh, I already had it up. I need to just keep that up at all times before battle start. If I'm taking melee uh, damage, I need to cast this Sympathetic Visage. Visage? Visage? And then this is kind of our energy renewal plus a snare. So what's the rotation? Before the fight... Illusionary weaponry. Go ahead and use that to cover it. I need to time this right. Clumsiness should go up right now. There we go. Interrupted. We might not be using Phantom Pain a whole lot. Maybe I should use it to start fights, actually. Just a little bit of degen plus deep wounds. Not bad. Getting a lot of numbers to pop up. I mean, that's a healing enemy in clumsiness. Get it off, get it off. Ah. Yeah, clumsiness needs to be of utmost importance in this, these guys. I mean, look at that damage. It's chunking them. Very consistent damage, actually. Fun, man. 
don't know what that 97 damage was. Did you see that? Interesting. So far, so good. This gets to be a little bit tough because it becomes like a um, defense mission. And because we cannot control our henchmen exactly, they just follow us or we can flag them all together. I'm not really sure the strategy I'm going to use on this. Oh, that's clumsiness is a 95 damage. Okay. Yeah, we're doing pretty pretty good damage, not gonna lie. Better than I expected. I mean there's kind of a reason that not many people run this, but it's like unblockable 42 damage, like very consistently. It's not too bad. Oh, I need to I need to take out all of these groups. That's what we gotta do. Clear the base. Can I sneak past these guys? Run up here. Oh, we got some dwarven soldiers around us. Not really having too much usage of ethereal burden yet. Oh no. I put them in the wrong spot. Come back up here, come back. Okay. Let's let's pull them up here. Oof. You know what I just noticed? I didn't even look at the henchmen. Didn't even look at the henchmen. We're using new henchmen. Devona, Menlo, Sin, Aiden, Eve. The only like OG henchmen we got are Lena and Dunham. I need to check out what abilities they're running actually. Very interesting. I don't know how I missed that. I just now noticed I was like looking over expecting Stefan's name and it's Devona. Weird. What? It, why? Okay, there we go. He had some crazy protection spell on. Four groups left. It's probably like an optimal map, optimal route for clearing this base. We're just trying not to die at this point. Two, three. Mm, Too good. They the AI is really smart with the way they stagger their giant stomps. They don't use them simultaneously, so there's like a chain reaction of stomps, knockdowns, very annoying. You know what I just realized? I'm not, I'm not using any inspiration either, aren't I? Yeah, <laughs> that's a waste of skill points right there. Oh, that hurts. I'm gonna say like, this would be nice to have more fast casting actually. 
We're only using two skill skills. Illusion and fast casting. Okay, boss here. Sympathetic Visage is really good against Warriors, if I can get it off. Makes them lose all of their adrenaline. Dude, this is... Look at that. His, his health is just disappearing, man. One left. Where's the ping? I don't think those are the guys that we got to take out. Here it is. Again, optimal route. Obviously, I didn't take it. Should have should have gone like out, or clockwise around this. Oh. They interrupted my that the counter to this build is interrupts and disenchants. If my illusionary weaponry gets interrupted, then I do zero damage essentially. Except for clumsiness and phantom pain. Alright. Look at the fort. So we, this is the city. Where's the fort? Is it this way? Oh, it's not. Where is the fort? I'm gonna speed this up while I find the fort. Let me get through here. That's where I have to go. Okay. He has to open the door for us. All right. Oh. Really, it's just these two skills I need to keep up. Oh, come on. I totally got that off. We're dead. Oh, thank goodness for Illusion of Weakness. That came in exactly when it needed to. notice if we're like this armor boost is really doing much I need to keep an eye on how much damage I take I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage oh, oh, I need to cast it immediately their giant storms are faster Honestly though, casting these extra spells, it's kind of slowing down my DPS, I realized. I need to just make sure I'm attacking at all times, keeping up that DPS pressure. Ooh, a gold. Max gold, nine required. Take a look at that. Ooh, that's a nice... That's a really nice offhand. Max percentage, max armor. Is the max armor for offhand five or seven though? I think it's seven actually now that I think about it. Pretty cool. The bet easily the best item we've found in this playthrough.
Oh, he died before we could get that off. The only thing this build is really... Ooh, level up or skill point. The only thing this build is really missing... I mean, this build is missing a lot, let's be honest. But the main one thing it is missing is AoE. It doesn't have any AoE. Just single target, consistent DPS. So it would actually be really good with a pair of daggers. Of course, we would lose our shield. Definitely feels like we're playing a warrior now, though. Kind of cool. Very different playstyle than what we've been used to. are a little bit annoying we could leave him, leave him behind these bone fiends so let's go counterclockwise clear out all these ads I think we need what's the best route to go to leave my guys here sneak here Oh, they're just coming. It'd be nice to get some health. Okay. Guys, let's not let King Jalus Iron Hammer die. Keep him alive. Please. Our monks are stuck. Could be a problem. Okay, they're not monks. Just Devona and Aiden. Really letting us down here. Please heal him. I'm begging you. Please heal him. Oh gosh. Oof. I can see this mission is going to be a little bit tough as single player. Oh, he's just running around. out all these ads. Oh, I cast Queen Venus on the wrong guy. And we do quite a lot of damage altogether. I don't know exactly what skills they're using. Take a look. It's hard to tell how much damage I'm taking because I've got to protect the spirit on me. I'm gonna have to rewatch the video and kind of observe exactly how much damage I am taking. have a game plan of what I need to do here. I can't really split my party well. You have taken the keep, but you oh, Vizier Kilgron. I haven't seen him in a while. And their white mantle counterparts are headed this way. They drive before them the denizens of the Shivergloop Mountains. I grant you this boon and the aid of these undeads. 
sentence. Oh, nice. Lies to the west. Really, one single giant barged in here? Oh, nice. Okay. So we can split our team between these two gates. Might need to direct my team like this. Not exactly tanky, but I think I'm. I think I can survive for a little while. And if we can burst them down like this, I just need to keep an eye on the mini map here. I think this is the way we gotta do it, just kind of move back and forth. I wish I could zoom out on the compass so I can keep an eye on both sides. The other option is we... They funnel from up here. We could just go up as one group and take them out there, but... I think this is the safest way, the way we're doing it now. Help King Jawson hold. Yeah, we just have to hold the keep. Here they come. Yeah, we're losing the phantoms. Stay alive. Alright, we don't need to keep them alive then. We can, we can bring them in a little bit. Oops, wrong text. Looks like a boss is coming up here. Rhine Windrod. Kind of sounds like a yeah, it's a necromancer. The chest up there. Perfect. The, keep the phantoms alive. Ah, oh, we lost the last phantom. He got bursted down fast. I can't tell if they're... What? Like, they're throwing rocks, but they have, like, warrior skills. What? I thought he died. Oh, the smoke phantoms come back, it looks like. This way.
I need to keep an eye on both. With heroes, this is much easier because you can just send like four guys here, four guys here, and you can just kind of relax. He's only level 18. Oh, they've got jade bows backing them up though. Bring them in a little bit. <laughs> hey, this isn't as bad as I thought. I was a little bit nervous for this mission. Another one coming. Ritualist. I want to go get this item in this chest real quick. Plumberg, new sword. Could use that. Double adrenaline gain. Ah, we can still use it because it looks cool. <laughs> it's just a, a appearance upgrade. Oh no, the phantom. I was just over there. Dang it. Oh, we're the Mursada in here now. Look at that. Damn it. Okay. We need to start playing the middle a little bit. They're creeping up. No, 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 no. Cut them off at the pass. reason why we're not just standing we, like we could also just stand right next to Jalus uh, Iron Hammer but as we saw before is he he'll just run up and attack enemies and it's a little bit hard to keep him alive if he's just running up and joining in the fight much better to just take the fight to the enemies like this full sword very cool. I'm gonna take these guys out by myself, I think. I don't want these enemies to come up behind me. Maybe I'm not. One second thought. <laughs> Let's regroup here. Like, maybe I can't take that. Again, that's kind of why I was a little worried about this this build. I think this mission generally benefits ranged in a, a ranged builds so that you can easily sw uh, catch targets. Level 16 now. Easy. See, look, he's got Drider defense. It doesn't even matter against us. They can't block our attacks because our attacks don't technically hit. Perfected Cloak. That's an interesting name for an enemy. Not going down. Maybe our enemy, our teammates are not actually helping us. Is that going on? Yeah, see, we're not taking too much damage. Okay, that was kind of a lot.
The left hand of Grant himself comes for us. Who's that? Oh, I just realized we have firing levers here. I wonder if we could be using these ballista against the enemies. I didn't think about that till now. Kind of a little too much multitasking. We had human players in here, maybe. Should be almost done, then. I guess we're not doing the bonus. I'm not sure what the... What was the bonus? I <laughs> didn't... Light the beacons to draw additional Mursat forces into Thunderhead Keep. Where, what are the beacons? Ah, oh, they're right there. You know what? I'm a little too scared to invite additional enemies here. This might be a bonus we have to come back and do later. I mean, obviously, it is now. But... Where's this left hand of Grin we were talking about? Did we already take him out? Yeah, let's try. What happens if we use the ballista here? Okay, we can see where it hits. Right, right there. Oh, it hits them. Nice. <laughs> a little bit of free damage there. They're going to heal it up before they get in here, though. Not really a whole lot of point to do that. I'm gonna have to speed this up like in between rounds. This is just taking quite a lot of time. I think if I should even post this video. Too boring. Finally. Oh, it's Confessor Dorian. That's who we're fighting here. That's awesome. Good old snare. Came in handy there. Are they standing in the... Um, they're standing in the range of this... Ballista, maybe? Test it out. No, not quite. Now they are. <laughs> what are they doing? What do you guys think you're doing over there? On this way. Catch him off. Catch him off. Catch him at the pass. I fired too soon. Go, go, go. Nice. This isn't going to be too bad. They're like level 16, level 20. Really not a big deal. I keep moving to these list of spots.
Okay, let's take him out. Easy peasy. chance of winning victory for them. I thought there would be like a Mursad boss or something. Beat the jealous iron hammer. Surely that wasn't it. Why was this mission so easy? Ugh. This was... Anyway... Well, there's Thunderhead Keep. Should have done the bonus. Not even death will save you from my wrath. If you will allow me this indulgence, King Ironhammer, perhaps the Confessor can still be of some use to us. Today's was a great victory, but now your true challenge begins. You must go to the Ring of Fire. Well, wow, I made my character super tall, I guess. Caldera of the largest volcano, you will find the power you need. The Ring of Fire? A more treacherous land interior there is not. True enough, but that is where we will find the door of Komali. Behind it lies the secret to defeating the Mursat. You're a brave lot, but you'll not make it past the beachhead. Not without some dwarven help. I will go with them. Rekna, do you know what you are saying? Yes, brother. A mission to the Ring of Fire would be suicide. Then may we meet each other in the afterlife. you were born to do until we are reunited in the great forge go with honor my brother fight bravely in the name of Deldramor I guess they're buddy buddy now Whoa. Not long at all. Wait, so was that was that not King Jalus Iron Hammer? Interesting. All right. Oh, humans. Uh we are in the Ring of Fire now. Emberlight Camp. I think there's like two or three more missions left. That is it. We are there. 
primary quest, we can pick that up. It's Dorian's death. The white mantle is a snake without its head. Yeah, so we're there's still some white mantle people left, but we are gonna clean them out. All right, that was a little bit of a disappointing mission. Um, I have to say it was very unnecessarily long and a lot of waiting. Like it could have, I don't know. I don't know what they could have done differently. Maybe we're just maybe we're just that overpowered. I don't know. But anyway. Thanks for watching. Things are going to get very interesting, a little bit scary since we're on the Ring of Fire now. I mean, everything's basically a skull. I don't know how that even happens, but the rocks naturally formed into these scary skulls. Pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to be heading to the next mission area next, next episode. So stay tuned. Stay with me. We're going to finish this. All right. Peace.